Well, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to a new Tenerife vlog. We are starting off here in Los Cristianos because uh, today we are off to the Passarela Centre. Now, if you don't know where that is, that is just at the top side of Los Cristianos. And that is where they have, you might have seen us there before. Ooh, that is where La Pepa Food Market is uh, on that rooftop. And you might have seen it before if you haven't. It's a fantastic rooftop which has got all kinds of different little stalls and restaurants and little cocktail bars and stuff up there. There's also a kids play area up there as well. And now we're heading there today because it has been closed for a good few weeks having a bit of a refurb. Uh, they've been doing a bit of work on there. I believe there were some issues with the roof and things like that. So they spent quite a bit of money on it and it is back open today. So I want to go and check it out, see what changes there might be. There might be a few new different little food stands to try. And either way, I've not vlogged this for a couple of years, so it'd be nice to show you all what options are available up there. So you've got quite a few different eateries around where you can just grab something quite quick and then you just go and eat in like the center area. I'll show you when we get there, uh, but it is quite good. It's good value, fresh food, but good value. And it's quite nice because someone can go and have a burger and someone can get Chinese and another family member can go and get a pizza. It's quite good to sort of mix and match. Uh, very popular with the locals and the Spanish as well. So uh, let's head there, check it out, see what's available. I might even grab myself a little bite to eat. So let's uh, drive on. I'm in the car. I am being lazy because I don't live far from the Passarella Centre, but I'm going to drive. So let's uh, drive on. Okay, so just parked up here for free. So you've got free street parking. There is an underground as well, which is free in there as well. So the Passarella, it is over a few, few different floors. The main area we're going to go to is the top floor where that uh, rooftop uh, terraces with all those different little uh, stands and snack bars etc which I'm going to show you but uh, just to mention you've got some other great restaurants and bars in here as well uh, one of them just down here one of our favorite bars in Tenerife the Attic Bar uh, that's reopening very soon they've had a little bit of a break and uh, that's due to open soon again so they've got a nice sunny terrace up there you've got Zocco's underneath which I love uh, that's the Arabic concept food as well uh, and there we'll go up these steps actually so I can show you a bit more. Uh, but what's great is why it's so popular with the residents is you have got this kids play area so the adults can have a drink, they can have a beer, they can have a bite to eat and the kids can play in the play area so it does work very well. It is hugely popular, a lot of people have been really missing it while it's been closed, having a bit of a refurb. But I like that it's free parking here as well. On the streets all around is free but they have got the underground as well if the uh, street parking's full. So yeah, the attic here, that is due to be open very soon. They've had a bit of a break. Uh, well deserved, of course. They do work very, work very hard. Amazing cocktails in here. And uh, they helped us out a lot with our bar as well. So I'll uh, forever be grateful to the attic. And uh, as you can see, this is the kids play area. So you can stick the kids in here. And then we're gonna go around to the main La Pepa food market area just there. But yeah, you've got all kinds of different uh, things going on. For the kids, half an hour, 30 minutes, three euros, dead cheap. They do face painting and stuff as well. We're gonna head round to this side just to show you the main La Pepa food market. Now it is, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. So I've come nice and early. Of an evening time, it does get much busier, but I wanted to come nice and early just to show you. These are nice, these are new. So these benches, they've either been painted or they're new. Quite like that with the black bottoms on. Nice, a couple of different seating areas. You can sit and have a drink. So the main idea is you'll go and buy your, your food and your drinks and stuff and then you can pick any of these benches or seats to come and sit at and enjoy. You can pick either, uh, it really doesn't matter. We have an evening time, this does get much busier, quite like the lighting, don't know whether the lighting's new or not. That's quite nice and then they've got this sort of camo netting going on as well over the roof there. It has all different little stands. Maybe not all of them will be open because I've come a little bit earlier, but got a Mexican stand here with all different Mexican food, different poke bowls and enchiladas and stuff. And then they've got the main bar over there as well. I'll give you a little show around. Not everything's going to be fully open, but yeah, they put a little bit of netting over the roof and stuff like that. A couple of little changes, just smarten things up. I think they've cased them in, I think. Let's have a little look around. got a little directory here which just tell you where everything is so we've got Asian food you've got vegetarian uh, Mexican vegan uh, Arabic food as well seafood American food meats as well so loads of different options you can choose from that's why I like it because if you've got someone who just wants a quick hot dog 
and then there's someone else who wants a steak or there's someone else who fancies a bit of Mexican you can come and do that and you just mix and match you literally just go up order what you want pay they'll give you a ticket and say come back in 10 or 15 minutes and you pick up your food and take it to a table and go and eat it's dead simple and easy we yeah, got a couple of different uh, cafes and food trucks going on as well yeah if I just show you inside not all of them are open so this is the main bar here you've got a cocktail bar there which is uh, going to be opening later on this one is very nice this is all the meats so this is like a, a bit like a butcher and then you pick how much meat you want what you fancy there's got like nice there's only nice chicken skewers yeah and you've got beef skewers and then they cook them all there on the grill in front of you which is nice you can pick a burger chicken breast nice big piece of meat i might go for a little bit of chicken and a little bit actually so i think they've just smartened it up i think they've painted all of this they've gone for a bit of a black and wood effect sort of look to it all just smartened it up i think really done some repairs to the roof uh, which was needed there's a um there is a where is it there was a really nice chinese here the chinese might have changed because this is now latino but there was a chinese here that was really really good so some of these have moved around you can see they've all been cleaned and painted and refurbished a little bit all fresh and modern and clean in there yeah i think this used to be the chinese so that's now gone i like the chinese there as well so hopefully they've just moved to a different location but you can see the idea of it you come up fancy one of these order it pay for it and then they say come back in 10 15 minutes you just pop back and grab it and then we'll carry on around i think this is new as well this looks quite nice bit of the brewing process to put some sort of pipes in and stuff made it look quite uh, different and interesting it's like storage there you go there's our dorada rep over there for the bar for the dorada and have a chat with him in a minute just want to carry on showing you around this is new as well i watched them putting all this in yesterday it's like a bit of a game arcade here now again good for the kids here's some of the pizzas and other little bits you can get garlic bread different salads as well all fresh it's a big sausage that isn't it wow very big and then we've got italian here so here's all your fresh pizzas in the pizza oven cooked in front of you look pick what you want you could probably say extra cheese less cheese all of that and then okay so here's the asian food now so maybe it moved to here i think this is the chinese that i liked i think they've moved location so yeah they do a nice set chicken fried rice in there that i enjoy so some of these are available look at that you can uh, rent this unit if you want to someone will snap this up i'm sure but i think in general the changes a lot of people wonder what's going on i think it's just been a bit of painting i think these lamps are new they've just smartened it up modernized it a little bit added a little bit of seating area here i think this is quite new with the mirrors just generally quite smart but it's good to refresh this because you can come and enjoy a quick pizza eight euros 50 sit out there have a beer you know you might want a little snack but your mum or your dad wants to have a big massive meal and pizzas and chips and stuff so i like that you can mix and match it's quite flexible yeah this is all new this little arcade thing here the other thing to mention in the passerella is bgr solutions they've got a couple of spaces in here now big company for all your electricals this is where i get uh, all of my i bought tvs from here for the bar printers uh, they do phone repairs stuff like that so i will give them a mention i'm actually going to be picking up uh lisa's laptop who works for me the work laptop is in getting repaired that's actually due to be picked up so i'll be picking that up in a little minute but yeah they've modernized and taken over this unit over the last couple of months refurbished it all made it look really nice and they've got an office downstairs as well so it is a big it's a big shopping center this is open from 12 till midnight every day the la pepper food market so you can come up here for lunch downstairs you've got the supermarket other little bars and stuff but uh, this was the main focus the main thing that's been done i think people thought it was going to majorly change it hasn't the main thing was the roof the roof had some major issues i think they deemed it unsafe i think so a lot of the work that was done was just putting a nice new roof on it so that was the main thing that they did a little bit of painting a bit of freshening up but uh, it's good to show you have got lift access in here as well so if you're worried about coming up the steps to this top level you can come in uh, from downstairs in the lifts so you have got disability access disabled toilets and stuff as well yeah i might grab a little uh, little bite to eat i think I might go for a little bit of a chicken breast or something something simple but uh quite healthy i'm gonna have a little chat with uh, gareth as well uh, for a minute 
Make sure all our Dorada's all spot on. But uh, yeah, no, I do like it in here. It's just easy, easy. If you're struggling and I want to, oh, I fancy Italian or I fancy a burger. I'm not hungry. It happens all the time with our family. Get my mum and dad to agree on somewhere to eat. So here, it's a good solution. It's not expensive. So if you come up, you, don't, you know, you have a little bite, you don't eat it all. It's not mega, mega bucks. So we'll have a little wander and I might grab myself a little bite to eat, I think. Fancying a bit of meat. Okay, well, I've just had a lovely chat with Gareth the Dorada rep. And one thing I didn't notice is that the beers up here have changed. Uh, they used to be with Heineken, it is now all Dorada. So we've got Dorada on draft, you've got Corona, Guinness, uh, Dorada is special, which is a little bit stronger. That's what I've just enjoyed a little half with. I just had a little chat with Gareth for a little while. Uh, Magnus, Stella, and also Copperberg as well, all on draft. So the beers up here have changed. All new glasses, a little bit of a refurb. But yeah, if you are a beer drinker and you came up here uh, beforehand, all the beers have now changed and Dorada is what we serve in our bar along with Corona and it is very very nice that's a local beer here to Tenerife we have just arranged as well we will be going and filming the Dorada factory very soon and we'll show you how they produce Dorada yeah I'm just enjoying a little little half of the uh, Dorada special it's a little bit stronger we have bottles of this in our bar in Buddy's bar but not uh, draft Unfortunately, we don't have this huge amount of space. I'm very jealous of their uh, very large bar. Also, to mention, you have got live music up here as well. So it does list it uh, normally at 8 o'clock or 8.30. Uh, you have got all of these different music acts. Uh, a lot of it will be in Spanish, but you have got like the Blackbirds, rock, uh, pop, soul, funk. They're really good as well. Uh, I've heard good things about them. You've got reggae, soul as well. I bet you they're really good. Flamenco. And uh, so, yeah, all the dates on there this week definitely uh, worth popping in for those because uh, I've heard the music up here before and it is good so it's not another little thing to bear in mind come and enjoy a little beer have a little bite to eat of whatever you fancy a little, little bit of live entertainment you cannot go wrong you can see it's starting to get a little bit busier here as uh, the day goes on much busier at night time early evening is uh, when it starts to get a little bit busier in here but I do need to go and order a little bite to eat I think after this little beer so just to show you as well, in this far corner, you have got a little wine bar where you can have different wines. And then you've also got a nice pasteria. So this does all of your nice cakes. Some of these cakes look divine. That one looks amazing. The red velvet, we've got a tiramisu there as well, I think. Look at that chocolate cake of a Bruce Bog Trotter style, that. And then you have all got fresh different funnel cakes. And look at that, even the whiskers going, making fresh cakes already. Nice, so you can get a nice little dessert in here as well. Look at that, the three, three let cheese cake. Does look amazing that. Oh, it's actually called Matilda cake. There you go. How funny is that after me saying about uh, Bruce Bog Trotter? I think I might have to get one of them. A Matilda cake, it's gotta be done. What a great name, love that. Call it the Bruce Bog Trotter slice. <laughs> I love that film. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little bite to eat now then. It's been good to have a little bit of a wander. Downstairs you've got different bar options available as well. Let me just show you uh, out the back here, just to give you a bit of reference of where we are. Uh, out the back here is Paradise Park that you can see here. Paradise Park Hotel. Just down below, down there is Casey's Bar. All right, let's grab ourselves a little bite to eat then. Just ordered here some lovely fresh chicken skewers and potatoes. They give me a little buzzer. So when my food's ready, this will buzz. So you can just go off and have a wander now and get yourself another beer, etc., or sit down. And as soon as it's ready, this will go off and you go up and get your food. It's time to uh, go and pick it up. So that's quite handy. I'm gonna uh, wait around and constantly be looking to see if it's ready. You can uh, just walk off with your buzzer and uh, pop back when it's all ready and done. So yeah, I've just gone for two nice healthy chicken skewers and some of these potatoes, which I couldn't resist. These look amazing, but the Matilda cake is still calling my name.
Okay, everyone, so here are my chicken skewers. I did mention that I was filming a bit of YouTube and a bit of TikTok, and they did give me a free couple of wings to try. I don't normally go for wings, but we'll try them. And then they've given me two different types of potatoes to try as well. Um, so all of this was 10 euros 50. So really good value, fresh cooked skewers. And uh, these are nice sunny views we've got. Looking over Los Cristianos, the mountains behind, Paradise Park just there. So you can be eating this, your kids can be over there playing. Your mates can be uh, grabbing a beer or a cocktail. It is nice up here, you can be in the sun or you can be in the shade. Uh, they've got the screen there, so often they'll have any of the big Spanish games big Barcelona games, Madrid games, they will be on the screen here and this gets jam-packed and there's a real good atmosphere and then all of the entertainment is normally done just here in front of the flags, they set up a little bit of a stage and they'll have the flamenco dancers, the live music, the musicians, the bands uh, playing a bit of music, really good and then if you look behind me you do get a bit of a view down towards Los Cristianos Harbour you can see the big tall, what was the Princess de Sil uh, hotel. But yeah, it's time for me to enjoy a little bit of food while it's nice and hot. A couple of different sauces to have with it as well. Let's uh, dig in. Okay, so just tried the chicken skewers. The only downside is you don't get proper cutlery, which is um, a bit of a shame, but I can see why they do it. Obviously, cleanliness and things like that. It is fast food after all. But as long as the food's good, it doesn't matter. And the chicken, I've already had one chicken skewer already. It's cooked to perfection. Dead tasty, look at that, proper white meat. And dead soft. Mm. Perfect. Thank you very much. There we go. Thank you. After the beef. Okay. So yeah, the meat is dead soft. Trying some of the potatoes as well. Just really nice. It's nice and fresh. Now, any of you that watch the channel and have done for a while knows that I don't normally go for wings, but he's very kindly given me some, so it's only fair that I give them a try, so. Now the flavor, very nice. I don't normally do barbecue. That's not too barbecue-y. The only thing I don't do with wings is just that it's the bone for me. I love the meat, I love chicken. I just don't like the bone and the mess of the, the bone. That's the only thing for me. I just don't do meat on the bone normally, but it's only fair that I give them a try. Um, but yeah, the actual flavour and the way it's cooked is very nice, quite crispy on the outside. So if you're into your wings, this could be an option. Laura would love these. I'm just not normally a, a meat on the bone kind of guy, but I've got to say what I had there was quite nice. It's just getting it off the bone. It's not over the top barbecue. It's quite sweet, but more of like a, almost more like a teriyaki barbecue. Actually very nice, I just don't do the bone. Let me know if you do bone on with the meat. So do, are you quite happy eating wings? And it's the same with a lot, they have a lot of chicken shops over here in Tenerife. And I don't like them because it's all chicken on the bone. I don't do the bones. Give me a nice breast any day. I don't do bones. So let me know down in the comments, what do you prefer? Are you more of a chicken breast kind of guy or do you prefer bit of meat on the bone for me tastes very nice I just don't do bones okay well that was main dinner sorted that's my dinner done however Matilda is calling my name and I think if I don't have some of this cake I'm gonna end up in the chokey so definitely gonna get myself a piece of Matilda cake it's got to be done look amazing Bruce Bog shot the cake here we come now let me tell you that is some moist cake that is gorgeous very, man, you don't need any cream or anything with this. It's gorgeous. Mm. Well, that cake was amazing. That was a proper moist cake, that. Naughty, really. I couldn't even finish it, it was that nice. Couldn't finish it, it was so big. Eating well there, eating well. So what was all that was uh, 18 euros. It's not bad, is it? For a big, proper homemade cake. Nice fresh chicken skewers, nothing frozen there. Cooked in front of you, nice and hot. Job done. So I'm just gonna pop into BGR and uh, pick up our work laptop on my way out. So, so there is two sections to BGR, so I'm just gonna quickly bob in and uh, pick up our laptop. Okay, everyone, well, that concludes our little visit here to the Passarella Center. You've got loads of great bars and restaurants around here. Some great little options in there as well. If you just want something quick, 
easy, bit of a different vibe up there. Get a little bit of a local feel to it as well at the weekends. That bit of live music, a nice little option as well. And of course, Dorada on draft. Don't forget, we have also got that in Buddy's Bar as well, which is just around the corner. But I'm looking forward to that. We did agree a little, uh, have a little agreement with the rep there, the Dorada rep, to go and film the Dorada factory, the brewery. I'm looking forward to that. We'll get to see exactly how they make it, all the different options, flavors, all of that. So that should be quite good. A bit of the behind the scenes of Tenerife's local beer. So let me know your thoughts on that one. If you've been to the Passarella before, you'll know exactly what you're getting. But yeah, they just smartened it up, a bit of paintwork, new roof, uh, a couple of things have changed, but all very, very good. Nice and clean in there as well, which is great. And of course, the free parking, you can't go wrong if you're in the car. You can jump in a taxi here as well. The taxis know it very well, the Passarella Centre, uh, they know it very well, the taxi drivers. Or you've got the bus station not far from here either, so uh, you can jump down here on the bus. Uh, but for me thank you very much for watching do please hit the thumbs up the little like button below the video it really does help us out make sure you subscribe it's completely free to enjoy the channel uh, loads of videos already on there over a thousand of tenerife uh, bars restaurants excursions you name it all on the channel and we have regular live streams over here as well so you can see exactly what uh, the weather is like etc over here in tenerife uh, but for me thank you very much for watching and of course stride on